What is up guys? Good morning to you guys on YouTube. Today it is raid day in Pokemon Go. So, I'm cooking me some breakfast. We're gonna get ready for the raid day. And we go start today pretty good. So, we got some rain coming some today. Moderate chance of rain. Uh, really not that bad. This one need turn. So not really that bad. Just a little rain that's coming into us. And they announced a uh, flash flood uh, alert for everybody. Emergency, because that Arkansas River right near Weber Falls is overflowing. And it's about to overflow. Uh, there is Arkansas water that's right near us here in Tulsa that's about to overflow. So they announced a, a, a emergency state for by the state. Marshall. So the Marshall told us that they're going to announce the emergency because the water is like getting ready to overflow. So they announced it this morning so we we're having to watch what we do outside at this point in time. So just make it look good on us. But anyway, so we're just cooking breakfast, getting ready for raid day. Get prepared, and I'll see you guys when it starts. Peace! So, if you guys are wondering about the tornado thing, there is a possible deal that's going to be on the news. And it was set on the news today. Get my plate over here. Make sure this is all good. I know you guys know how to make eggs for, for sure. So, I ain't gonna say anything about it. Anyway. Unless y'all really wanna see a egg. Be back. So like you guys are, like I said, I'm making breakfast. We're getting the day started. We'll see you guys as soon as I get my breakfast. Peace. It's just fucking cool or not. Yeah, it is. Uh, we're walking to the area now. Slackout was announced for the community days. Uh, community day for next month on June 8th. So Slackout is the next shiny Pokemon coming. And if you're wondering what the shiny looks like, bam! Shiny Slackout. And shiny Big Figurot. Shiny Big Rock. Then the final from Shiny Slacking. Bam. Right here. That's what these three look like. I want to put it anywhere, actually. So, Shiny Slack Up is the next announced Community Day Pokemon for next month's Community Day. We do not know what July 21st is going to be on that Community Day. So, and Lapras Day was announced. That way we can get Lapras. Not this Saturday, because this Saturday I am announcing we are going to be going to a family reunion for the very first time on YouTube. I missed last year because I was busy with things and had stuff to do. So, we're going to be able to make it this year. So this Saturday we are going to to a uh, family reunion. See all my people? You guys with me tonight. So, as we are heading to Arby's, I will see you guys there for the uh, next video of Pokemon Go. Peace!
Sorry guys, if you guys didn't hear me earlier about shiny stuff, I cannot see it myself. What the fuck? Okay, the light back here is just bad. Okay, anyway, as I was saying, get the light back. Come on now. Okay, anyway. So, you guys didn't hear me at the last clip, but now I'm saying it's shiny slack off trying to Pokemon Go. That is the next community day Pokemon coming to Pokemon Go. Everybody is tweeting about it. Cannot wait. I'm um, just ready for Slackoth on June 8th. So, cannot wait to encounter the shiny form of Slackoth. So, this time, like I said, we are going to do some race today before the rain hits. We've got rain coming in soon today. So, and there is a new update for Pokemon Go, so I have to take it off. Then put it back on. Take it off. Then put it back on. Do what I gotta do. So, I'm updating it on my Android right now. So, hopefully, it's already updated from my iPhone. So, let me check. We've got bad signal here, so I'm sorry. If this is the you guys. The internet here is not very good. That's only the best we're gonna get. We're good. Oh, no, we're not. I will do this in a second. I'll see you guys in a minute. Peace. All right, guys, we're back. Sorry about that. We are not able to download Pokemon Go from the internet way behind me, so we're just going to go ahead and head down to McDonald's, and I will see you guys there. Peace. All right, guys, we made it. So we are here. I've got the Pokemon Go back on my phone. Thank God. I got tired of freaking Arby's. It's bull crap. Their internet not working right. I think they got two mobile or something. They're satellite internet or something. It's looking crazy. You can see this on my neck is my headphones. So everything's working good. It's fast. So thankfully. So we'll be live streaming in a moment. Don't yep, put it in there. Oh, you guys, I gotta do this real quick. Where the hell did it go? Bitch. See you guys later, thank you for watching. And I'll let you guys have another video. Peace. Alrighty guys, what is up? Welcome back to another uh, video. We have another tornado down in Sand Springs right now. I just got a phone call from a mother telling me I need to get back because weather is starting to get bad. Sand Springs right now, at this point, has a tornado down. Manfred's got a tornado down. There's several areas that's got a tornado down right at this moment. I gotta get over this way, motherfucker, before I get right over. Shit, sitting right here until everybody stops. Oh man. I will see you guys when I get home. Alrighty, guys, right now as you speak, you can hear the sirens right now going off as we're talking on the camera. And right now, and I'm heading home, my location's right about there to get back. We are getting our ass out of here. The big one just got sounded off. Two more's going off. And they're still going off because there's a tornado down in Sand Springs right now, headed towards this way. So we are heading home and getting out, and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. As soon as I get home, I'll record some more. Peace! Hey, hear the sirens, you guys, but still rain. Hopefully, the camera will survive in the rain. Right there, boys. Right there. Above your head. Right there. See you guys later. Another tornado warning has been issued. Second one today in a row. So back in the closet with the dogs. She don't want to come sit on the other side, so I don't give a shit. She can kiss my ass. So, yeah. I'm gonna uh, wash my hair after this bullshit. Tornado warning for Tulsa is going to extend. Uh, so we're just located off, off the, uh, the so, we're in this for I don't know how long. Um, let's put that, uh, from 51st to 61st, sit. And then much sit down. To Sugar, sit down. Sit. Uh, so that's sit. High sit down. Set.
Barely I can hear him. So we have a tornado warning on this, so there's a chance that we can have a spin up of a tornado underneath us at any given time. Um, this is the storm that uh, JD's looking at. This is the one that came up uh, from out of the Jinx area that uh, kind of got a little bit, uh, a little bit fast on the tornado warning. Uh, we get done uh, using your phone. Let me see it for a minute. What are you busy with? How am I supposed to call Matthew? All right, guys. Let me sit down for a minute. I know I didn't shirt, no shirt on because I was hot earlier, so I changed shorts and whatever. So anyway, we are in this until eight o'clock. We're in this weather till eight o'clock. Yeah. Kiss my ass. Go sirens again. And by the way, I'm playing Metro Card Joe while the tornado war is going on. So y'all can laugh at this if you want. I'm gonna take another case though, because this is carpet, so they're gonna hurt it. Bitch! Don't turn off of me, motherfucker! I see cool. What the fucking case, bitch? Just fuck her off. That's why I hate cases like these. My phone's backed up all week, so I'm about to get it fixed soon. No, I'll tell you guys one thing. The hail is about this size. So it's like about... Not golf ball, that's for sure. It's about like... About like a push pin size. The ball of it on the back of it, of a pin. So it's like a push pin ball size, whatever. Girls are worried. Look at this shit. Hey, girls are worried. Think we're gonna die. Sugar! Think we're gonna die. What, sugar? 
And then they're going to die, so it ain't going to happen. They may die one day, but that's a different story. What about a girl? She's like in my lap. Like, really, she's like literally scared. She, her eyes is like, I'm fucking scared like shit, boy. She's like, better keep me safe, motherfucker. I'll bite you on your ass. Something like that. There is the other sirens. I scared just taking cover just for prepare. Fuck you talking about now. Well, no shit. If we fucking die, we die. If we fucking live, we live. The come plows our goddamn house, we take the fuck off. If it kills me, it kills me. I don't give a fuck. Just kidding. If it's tornado, it's just a fucking tornado. It's time to take fucking cover, digger. Look at this. She is literally like fucking scared. She's like fucking. I want to get out of here. Her, she's like totally yeah, fucking freaked out. She's like, what the fuck's going on? What the fuck's going on? God damn it. Somebody better fucking tell me. What the fuck is going on? She's like, what the hell's going on? That's close. Baseball, baseball here on the north side Katusa, back on up to the north. And, uh, I guess she needs to get her ass here. Going on right uh, from uh, where Brandon is going through now. And then back on up uh, further to the northeast. All right, 
back to the circulation feature down here. Alan, do you have another update coming up? Maybe just a second. Let me refocus the position. All right. And then here's the circulation. I'll go full screen here for minutes as we don't have anything on uh, Toronto Show. Uh, here's the wrap up, and this is 11th Street to 21st Street now. So we're east, well east of the county line of 257. Goddamn, sure about to fall off of me. She's not, she's like, she, I don't want out. She's not going out. Come on, come there. There we go. Here. Get out of there. Stay over there. Sugar, get over there. Man, she gonna get us killed on this. One of these days. Lay down. Set. Set. Sugar. Now. Set. Now. Set. Set. Set down. You said I want to sit down. Yeah, there you go. Who's the guy? Tornado. Tornado. Uh, chance of being a tornado. You're getting in reports it is. Katusa. Yeah, uh, that's why the service said okay. they have reports. All right. So this is a potential right now. Hey, JD, we're going to come to you. you got to be real careful. You're in the middle of a, what could be a tornado right now, right where you are. Uh, and so it's right in front of your face there, so don't run into it. Uh, tornado potential is real high for your location. We're now, I'm talking about 412. And I'm going to get on the phone track in just a Yeah. The potential tornado. Blah! Can you fucking talk today? The potential tornado is at a rank four on the match card. Now, had more than that before. But anyway, as I'm saying is, uh, they have a potential tornado about to hit uh, Catatusa. How do you pronounce it? Not that much. Just kidding. Okay. Uh, I'm just not real sure. I'm going to get back with you, Jack. Okay, tornado warning, though, still for this area. We've got a confirmed a report of a tornado oh. near uh, 412 and also around 11th to Fair Oaks area. If you're in this area, you have to take cover right now. No matter where you Fair are, Oaks. this is a messed up area with a wind, strong winds, damaging winds. Alan has something else out. Again, a large tornado that I reported near Commerce to the west of Pitcher. What's a pitcher? Last of warning until 11 p.m. Alright, so again, the bad news up in Ottawa, Pitcher. We know all about that. That's happened before, and that's happening again. Uh, Pitcher. This is the uh, area where um, we, it was reported that we had a tornado go across 412 uh, from a spotter. 
that was in that area, and that's rotating right now. We have three guys that are kind of in line. You see the circulation feature tight. JD, there's a real tight circulation just to your north. Um, I don't know. Again, I'm, I'm going to try one more time. Just can you see anything to your left at all? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, heavy rain thunderstorm continues right in this area. So the circulation feature just and it could be just right in front of you to your left or just front uh, front left. Uh, so that circulation is right there. It's tightened up considerably. This is the east side of Tulsa. And if you're with us on radio right now, I'm going to give you a broad view of what's going on. Tornado warning is in effect right now for areas just southeast of Vertigris. Uh, that uh, storm is moving to the east-northeast right now. Some folks involved in that would be Fair Oaks, which is now foil at 7.50, just to say near 8 o'clock. Near 8 o'clock, uh, we'll be uh, headed toward Pryor. Uh, so that's going to continue to track along and just parallel the uh, pretty much I-44 going northeast. So we already have one tornado there. And with this along a boundary, I think that's why we're having this getting stronger as it's uh, continuing. And let's widen out for a second if you could. And Tyler was in there. Thank Iowa you. Iowa Justice. Okay, good. Thank you for bringing that up, Station. Tyler Justice, right in the path of this tornado. And uh, that didn't show up on our storm track. Uh, but uh, you guys, right here, any place in Vertigris, south and east. And Tim's on the north side, so he's not going to hardly see that either because he's going to be in rain wrapped area. Uh, but that's just all over. So we got guys all over in, in that. Uh, that is wrapped up. And then let's broaden out real quick. And then we're going to go back to Alan for another update on possible big tornado. Brandon. And Brandon, back. Uh, update, Brandon. Okay, uh, Travis, right now we're 460, just east of Katusa. I've got a uh, funnel Stay. right there. It's not not real, not rotating real strong, but, it's, but that, that, that is a funnel right there, Travis. Yep. Okay, let's go to Alan with another update up in Converse. Yeah, i got to get up there very quickly because this is a large damaging tornado. It is causing damage right now, large tornado. It's moving northeast at 30 to 40 miles per hour. This is locking debris in the air. Uh, so near and just north of Commerce to Pitcher, this is going to go across the state line sure. near Baxter Springs and, like, and maybe just to the east of Melrose. You guys need to take precautions right now. This is a, a large, dangerous tornado in progress, and it's lofting debris into the air. We can see that on the correlation coefficient. That's just I see of that. west of Pitcher, south and east of Melrose, moving northeast at 30 miles per hour. Large and dangerous There's tornado, tornado. In, uh, this area right now. Moving in southeast Kansas, we're just uh, in that zone, so please be advised. Now we're looking back at uh, our area. We have our tornado warning. We've had a I can't really hear the signs in southeast of Vertigris. About I am chill out uh, on the ground, and then we have heavy thunderstorms further to the south. Can go. This is northeast of Tulsa. Yeah, so we're going to look at the circulation yep. feature. JD is very, very close to that at this point, Morning. and so this is the rotating area right now. So we have three guys. Lined up. There, oh, you hear no more sirens, actually. Point where it's going to be very hard for us to see from our locations, uh, but that's just a circulation feature. JD should just be to your north right now, uh, literally. So be very, very careful where you are. Um, I don't hear sirens, guys. I'll see you there. If we hear any more, I'll let you guys know. All right, guys, we're back in the closet again. They just blew the sirens again. We are back in a tornado warning for the third time tonight. We wasn't it twice tonight. Now the third time. So it's three times in a row tonight. Turn me to tornado watch for one second, then turn to a tornado warning right off the back. So we are back into a tornado warning. I've got the dogs in here. My mom's being selfish. Don't get her selfish ass in here. Start pissing me off. So I'm waiting on. Her selfish ass get in here. While well, I do that, I'll clear this up. Fuck is on top of that. Wait a sec, guys. Get over that bitch. I ain't gonna last no longer.
So they're saying that there's a tornado right near us. So this is the third time tonight that we've like, you know, this is the fifth time we've been there through the whole week. So throughout the whole week, 20th and 21st, twice. Two, two, two different days. The nail, three times tonight. Five times this week we went through this. We went through this five times tonight. All week. This whole week we did it five times. I'm going to check on the weather. We'll be giving you updates all night long out here. Live near Weber's Falls, Rainy Light Better, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6. Can I have a quick question? Is there a lot of traffic leaving Weber's Falls? Does it look like people are, you know, doing their best to get out of town? Well, I got nothing you're asking here for. Sitting on the fucking chair, and I'm getting your ass in here, y'all. Unless it's a, a flood warning, flood sounds, there is no rain outside at all. I guess dogs in here, so we're fine. Y'all can kind of hear it.
We'll take a look at those sirens again, you guys. And uh, there you go. There's the circulation that station has uh, indicated that's going to be near just east of Ramona, and she'll put that in motion again. It's kind of a broad circulation. It's gone through these re re these cycles again. Uh, it looks like it's trying to tighten it just a little bit now, slightly north northwest of the Talala area. So you see that flashing polygon. That is where uh, the potential uh, developing circulations would be. So if you're uh, residing in this area, we would encourage you to take your tornado precautions. So again, we have a couple of tornado warnings uh, that are still underway. Um, let's put the reflectivity on that, and we'll show folks this is what they're usually looking at here. So you got the. Uh, just go ahead and say it again. Okay, so this, uh, you need to take your tornado precautions if you're in Watova and Jamestown, and this is going to head your way. This is a circulation that's now just to the east of Ramona that we're looking at. Okay, so again, uh, tornado warnings still continuing along here. Uh, we've got tornado warnings technically now for a couple of areas. The one the station is looking at is going to impact part of northwestern Rogers, uh, southern Washington. Oh, uh, yeah. The northern areas there, There's more. The, the Talala area, and uh, Uliga, and then a little more down to the south. There's a few more. Here you go, a few more of the sirens, you guys. You can see there's a little circulation now around the Lake Skytook area, trying to redevelop. We're seeing this off and on, and there's another one right back behind it. Uh, Darren's and uh, he's in a good position to catch I'm this one. I'm in it, call Matt. Look at his own fucking self. Just a little bit to the north of uh, the Collinsville area, so. Those I am on your phone, Charles. So Don't be felted. Get sick of that goddamn uh, shit. Both of those areas for, let's zoom all the way out and kind of set the stage now as we're getting closer into the 10 o'clock hour. Uh, so that's the storm that J.D. and Vaughn um, have been on. That's the one that's been producing the, the, what we think is a significant large tornado. Yes, and that one is going to be in far eastern Delaware County. Now, this is going to be over rural uh, land for the most part. This is going to be to the northeast of Jay. If you're familiar with Delaware County, it should stay just south of Grove, but it's actually going to get very close to a community called Dodge. And so let me show you where this area of circulation is now located. It's only several miles just back to the west from the Missouri line, and that circulation is still very evident. The community of Dodge, you can see, is right here. And so if you're familiar with this area, if you live anywhere around 330 Road, back over to 33, Stay in there for a minute, check out your sign's plant. Two and a half inches of rain 